I've done stories about scammers before. Tax related scammers. Warning the public about a new scam. Phone scammers. Binary option scammers. Romance scammers. Credit card scammers. Identity theft scammers. It's a scam. It's a scam. But I've never met anyone like these guys. They're all 20 somethings, and they all live like kings. Mansions, parties, insane cars, jewelry, AK 47s that look like jewelry. It's a lifestyle that's made possible by their mastery, a cryptocurrency scam called Rug Pull Scam. The Rug Pull. The Rug Pull. If you haven't heard of it, consider yourself lucky because victims lost nearly $3 billion in 2021 alone. This is a journey to the dark side of the crypto craze. Selling drugs is for the birds. Okay, let's do this. Okay, you ready? Mm hmm Before I started reporting on cryptocurrency, I think I just thought that it was something that everybody else was making money on, but I was too lazy to get into it because I knew very little about it. Cryptocurrency. Crypto. Crypto. Crypto, crypto, crypto is a way of people taking control of their money. It's a safe and easy way to get into crypto. And I'm never wrong about this stuff. Never. Fortune favors the brave. Whenever there's something out there that it seems like you can make so much money fast, there is a lot of people out there that are just willing to exploit those, those dreams and those hopes. Look, where do I start with crypto? Crypto. Actually, let's start from the beginning. So it started, so it started with one person. One day I got a, a message on Instagram from a fan of the show. He was such a fan, he lived in LA. So I actually, we met this guy and he showed up with a cheese board that he had made himself that said traffic with Mariana Van Zeller. And uh, he gives me the cheese board and then he says, hey, <laughs> hey, what do you know about crypto scams? What do you know about crypto scams? Crypto scams, one of which is called a rug pull. Remember what I told you about crypto? Crypto. Crypto. Currencies, coins, token, centralized financing, decentralized financing. But once you go to DeFi, the wild west. You do realize that half of the things you're saying I don't understand, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so say what crypto is. It's a, really, a very, um, a, vet, a really, uh, oh, it's so hard because it's not like a two sentence thing. It's like a two hour thing. I don't even know where to start. I mean, and it's, uh, uh, now, if you don't know what cryptocurrencies are, we're not entirely sure either. It's okay. <laughs> Experts say they are a digital currency that's exchanged online that's not tied to a government. Bitcoin is probably the most common cryptocurrency on the market. There are many out there. So you have very little money in an actual bank account? Yeah. All of it is in crypto? Exactly. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. When was the first time you realized you'd been a victim of a scam? I think I've been in maybe seven or eight rug pulls. That many? Yes. The first one was just a $500 investment, and the next one, almost 10000 And then what happened? A bit just you lost it. Just it. move on. There's nothing you can do. Decentralized financing. So yeah. there's no rules. Nothing mm -hmm. applies. Right. Okay, so the first time you lost $500, and right. it was a rug pull? Yes. Let me explain how this rug pull works in the form of a margarita. Great. Love margaritas. When we launch the token, the scam token, you have this amount of your actual token. Okay. So before scammers start to promote this new offering, they've already bought a big chunk of it at a very low price. As people are buying in and it goes up and up and up, there's no stop, it just keeps going up the chart. So that's the money I'm putting in. Behind. Exactly, as it's filling exactly. up the coffers. Now Next you up. have more investors coming in and more shillers pushing the product nonstop. Twitter, Telegram pushing it, getting paid to promote a certain token. So your average newbie investor sees that and thinking, oh, I better get into it right now. It looks great. Going and going and going. People are buying in. Buy, buy, buy. Going and going and going. Mm -hmm. Thousands of people. Going and going. We're all getting super excited. All right. Next thing you know, so, 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 so. the scammer walks out. He walks out? Yes. With that, all the money? Exactly. That's right. Just when the excitement around the token reaches a fever pitch, the scammer pulls the rug, selling all of his holdings and sending the price crashing. And that's a rug pull. And that's a rug pull. 
It's amazing to me that so many people can do this mm -hmm. and get away with it. Mm -hmm. Personally, I know some people that have lost their life savings. Who are the scammers? Who are these people that are making millions of dollars Anybody. from other people? Anybody. I can't quite believe that these scams are as big and as common as Xavier is telling me. Scams everywhere. Crypto scams everywhere. But it doesn't take much research to see that he's absolutely right. FBI is warning about an increase in cryptocurrency scam. Rug pull scam accounted for 37% of the illicit revenue. A Denver man thought he'd be able to retire early after investing more than a million dollars. $1.6 million in total. It disappeared with about $3 million. Oops. The bad guys all want cryptocurrency because it's not traceable. It seems like once people are burnt, they either quietly drop out of crypto entirely. It's not backed by any banks, so consumers have no protections and no way of getting their money back. Or they pin their hopes on making it back on the next hyped up token. It's really exciting. Maybe there are celebrities involved, so you want to get in early. I missed out on Google. I missed out on Apple, so I didn't want to miss out on this. Oh, it went to zero. You seen it live. A rock pool, baby. If I'm looking into scammers, what do you suggest? Conventions. The conventions. The, uh, the crypto conventions? Oh, correct. Mm -hmm. Miami, Dubai. You're bound to meet somebody that's trying to show off. When's the next convention? Dubai. Dubai? Yes, next week. Really? Next week yes. already? And you, you, you think for sure there's going to be scammers there? If you ask the right questions, you'll find somebody. Mm -hmm. You'll find somebody. This is the Wild West. Decentralized financing is the Wild West. Much like Dubai itself, cryptocurrency seemingly came out of nowhere, creating obscene towers of wealth, a lot of it built on sand. The good, the bad, and the ugly of crypto come to these conferences. Everyone is vying for attention for their latest token. This is the first time that I've showed up somewhere without a lead. With my heart, you lost it. Our heart. And without knowing what a scammer might even look like. So my plan is to get the word out that I'm looking for them and hope that our cameras will keep their interest. Hi, why, why are you dressed in a space suit? Crypto doesn't have any more sky is the limit mentality, so it's going to the moon. Are you guys in the crypto business? Yeah. Yes. What do you do? Yes. You invest in crypto. Yeah, yeah. So does your company have a token, or how do, no. what do you do? My company is all about fashion, crypto fashion. Right now, crypto is not accepted for payment everywhere. As that adopts more, you're going to see a whole flood of more people come in. And these scammers are going to be sitting out there waiting. There is a lot of scamming in crypto, too. Is that yeah, something that worries you? That's where you got to do your, re your own research kind of thing. People don't like to read. People don't like to search. They follow influencers. I'm assuming there are scammers in here, too, right? I would absolutely bet that, yes. Do you know anyone who's doing rug pulls? Any scammers? <laughs> Good luck. I leave the conference with nothing to show for it. But later, my luck changes. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah. When I finally hear from an elusive source, I've been waiting on. Is there any way I can get his phone number and meet him and talk to him directly? He confirms that there's a notorious scam crew in town, headed up by someone he insists on referring to as Mr. X. OK, but he's definitely in Dubai, right? It's rare for them to be in the same place at the same time, so I can't miss meeting them. Okay, any idea on where he's staying? 
I mean, if we have an address, if you're willing to share that address with me, awesome. Okay, thank you. Talk to you in a bit. Bye bye. Hello? Mr. X? Yes. Hi, Mariana here. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I am so happy we can finally talk to you directly. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we're we're on our way. I think we should be there in the next 15, 20 minutes. Okay, that sounds good. Great. Okay. I'll see you soon. <clears throat> so apparently he's staying in this big villa right on the water, sort of one of the most expensive areas in Dubai. And I uh, heard that he's driving around in all sorts of luxury cars, and I guess we're gonna see. Okay, this is it, guys. This is the house. We have a G Mercedes G-Wagon and a Rolls Royce parked out front. So we came all the way to Dubai. We got here and we started a hunt for a scammer. We went to parties, went to this crypto conference, telling everybody that I was looking for a scammer, which isn't the best way to go about this. But eventually, we got a call. The scammer, he's here right now and he's willing to talk to us. The scammers are fairly paranoid about us identifying where they're staying. So it's cameras down until we're inside. How many breath pulls have you done? I wouldn't want to say that. But more than 10? Yeah. More than 100? Mm. No. Have you been a victim of a rug pull? Yeah. Everybody in crypto has been rug pulled. So I'm like, man, let's figure out how they did this. Oh, is that one of the reasons you got interested in it? Yeah, because it's easy money. Do you know a lot of other people rug pulling? Yeah. I mean, they suck at it, but there's a lot of them that are good that are make hundreds of millions of dollars. So setting the stage, where, where are we and why are you guys here? We went to Dubai, we came for the Crypto Expo. We came to see new utilities, security. So you come here and they're, they're gonna tell you everything at these conferences about what they're doing in terms of security and you can always be a step ahead. Exactly. You, you wanna be called Mr. X, right? Yeah, you can call me that. What is it that you did? Rug pulls, I pull liquidities, I launch tokens. And you're the boss? You could say we're a team. Sir, yes. Can you tell me what each of you guys do? Well, I do the shilling. I promote the token. You're the sort of the PR yeah, side of it? Social media, to get the name out there. Every token you type, the more hype, the more people are buying and when they launch it. Is it easy? Yeah, people just chase it after money. And what about you? What do you do? I make the money disappear. I exchange money within different wallets and divide it into smaller amounts to make it seem as it just disappeared, making it harder to trace. What's the most amount of money you've ever made on a rug pull? One that's been successful with marketing from multiple influencers through him. And easy, like, 60 million. How much? 60 million. Six zero? Six zero. 60 million dollars? Yeah. You know, I've interviewed many, 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 many people that work in black markets, but I've never heard of anyone making this amount of money with one operation. Selling drugs is for the birds. 
Oh, no, so you guys, are, you guys are in your 20s, right? Uh, All three of you. 27. I'm the youngest, just turned 21. So then what do you do with the cash? I mean, if you're having, if you have millions of dollars in cash, how do you, what do you do with it? And that's into everything. Bank accounts, family members, stuff like that, people that have legitimate businesses, shoes, clothes, designer, jewelry. How much does that chain cost, do you think, the one you have? This one, about 75. 75,000. And on a regular basis, how much money worth of jewelry do you carry on you? Um, a lot. Quarter. 250,000. Yeah. I'm, I'm that dude. I'm that hero. I'm along for the ride with them today to see where those millions end up once the rug has been pulled. This car alone costs like half a million dollars. Yeah. How much do you think these good houses are worth? Yeah? Oh, easy 20 million. The villas were like 15,000 for seven days. And you guys have six? Yeah. They tell us they've rented six different villas on Palm Jumeirah, a luxury development built on man-made islands. All of these are on the water then, right? Yeah, big beach view. How many people did you guys travel? Um, 20. Is it your first time in Dubai? No. There, there's a lot of connections out here. There's a lot of people who not have a lot of utility. And by utility, you mean cash? No, privilege. Like, there's no laws to people here that I know. You know what I mean? Oh, so the people that you know are in high places here, so they're not... Yeah, basically they can. Get away with a lot. Yeah, when I'm with them, it's, it's insane. Friends and family know you're in this business? For sure. They know that you're doing? Yeah. That you're stealing? What do you mean? How is I mean, I'm stealing, it's legal. How I you, mean, all these you... people are buying tokens thinking it's something, and it's not, right? So you're, you're right. selling them something that's actually not real. No, it's real. They get their tokens, they buy it. They yeah, but it's worth nothing. That's the point. No, it's worth, no, it's it's worth something. No, no, it's worth something. It's you, worth you can still money. sell. But the people that are investing and buying the tokens don't yeah, know they, that their money is going to disappear, right? They They're going to lose money. It's a gamble and they lost. Repo, it's a legal way of making money. Legal way of stealing. Yeah. Legal way of stealing. So, but if it is not illegal, why are you guys wearing masks? Why not just be openly doing it? Just because of the fact that my face is recognizable to a lot of people. This is my Schiller, and he has hundreds of thousands of followers, verified, connected with celebrities. I'm connected with celebrities. Right, it's gonna, it would yeah. basically put a stop to your lifestyle and to exactly. the connections. Exactly, and not only that, it'll just be like, oh, you're the that's drug pulling, and it'll just be like, okay, well, now we can't do it no more. Do you ever feel bad about the people that are losing all this money? You know, we hear stories about people who've invested, you know, all their retirement or sold their dream house or whatever. How do you feel about that? It's how you get it. You don't care? No. If you're gonna put your life savings in a coin, you should take five minutes to do a Google search and find how the coin works. I think they're the most stupid people on earth. It's pretty chilling how quickly these guys can flip between being almost likable and almost completely void of empathy. Don't invest what you can't lose. Yes. Who the hell would do that? That's We heard that there was somebody who killed themselves after a rock pull, after being a victim of a rock pull. Have you guys heard of that? Yeah, but I don't feel sorry for people that kill themselves. That's weak-minded. But I think there's a certain, it's also because you never meet your victims, right? I think that if you were to sit down in front of somebody who's lost a lot of money and is crying in front of you and is telling you that they can't money. send their here's kid to money. college or whatever I it is. I think they're not victims, they're investors. We don't go to them with a gun and be like, give me your money. He's like, this is a coin. And they go like, here's my money. It's different. 
They can couch it however they want. But essentially, they're scamming people out of their hard-earned money. And they have absolutely no qualms about it. I'm treading a fine line between challenging them and maintaining access to this world. It feels like they trust me now, but I still need the invite to the main event. This is really beautiful, though. This is really beautiful. Yeah, for sure. So when you do your next operation, could we be with you? Possibly. Did you ever think you'd be living a life like this? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. What is it that you most like about this life? Freedom. You can do whatever. It... Whenever. And you, do you, you don't think this is going to end? No. There's no way they can stop it. A couple years ago, I had cancer, and it kind of slowed me down a little bit, and so I spent more time with investments and things of that nature, and my son came over, and he said, hey, Dad, you looked at crypto. And I said, crypto? You mean that, that Bitcoin stuff? Cryptocurrency. 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 This is pretty confusing stuff. So no Bitcoin investments for you? I don't know nothing about that. Okay. So I started looking, right? And so I got into SHIB and did very well, and then you're ruined, right? You're, you're kind of wrecked. Because I went from saying things like, hey, I made $29. Hey, I made $29 to trading blue chip stocks to, hey, I made $6,000 $6, today with crypto. And I thought, even then, man, this, this can be dangerous for people because of that, the FOMO, that lure, you know? Everyone's trying to get in this game. Investing in cryptocurrency is the buzz right now. Well, the day started normally, uh, it, it was a launch day, Altex was the name of the token, and I had been involved with this project. Uh, it had been delayed a couple times. The devs were young, uh, not fully doxxed. That we, I knew who they were and about where they lived, but they they still kept their last names kind of, you know, secretive. Despite the risk, Robert pressed his luck, investing thousands in what he thought was a promising new token. At launch, the devs sold their entire bag, uh, which looked like this huge rug pull. And that left all the investors, including myself, you know, holding the bag. When all the smoke cleared, I had $86 left. Uh, I it just, I was wrecked, wrecked. It, it's hard to describe. Emotionally, it's devastating. Knowing how that felt and that others were going through that, that's the point that I decided that something had to be done. That something had to be done, and it was gonna start with me. These are just new tokens that have launched. Just one. Just, to, just well, just it today. shows today over here at the last. Just today, yeah. Yeah. Here's a good indication that this is probably a scam. You see, three percent down in the last hour. Yeah. But eighty-five percent in the last just, twenty-four hours. Which means that they're dumping. Something's going on. Then you see these actually, you know, up by six percent, up by sixteen percent. But that's what they do. They hope that you know, just like you just did. You said, hey, some of these are up really big. They hope that you'll see that and go buy it. Robert Browning is a scam victim turned vigilante. After being taken in by a rug pull, he now spends his time hunting down and exposing scammers. So explain what this is. What are these AMA? This is an AMA. Now, AMA means ask me anything. And, what, and these guys use these AMA platforms what for? To pump their token. To just to, to sell to all the hype, all the garbage, all the... We're here, we're here in chat. People have any questions or anything. And so you go into these chat rooms, into these AMAs, for what for? Because they're very suspicious. Yeah, why do you think they're suspicious? Because Carl sent me a copy of a wallet that was involved in a scam. One of your guys? Yeah, and it holds this token. So, so they've been involved in another scam. They, somebody has been a bad actor on the team. When he finds a suspicious token launch, he questions the developers in public forums, in front of possible investors and victims. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, man? Oh, uh, no, man, just checking it out. Yeah, just new to the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are y'all, is this, I mean, is it, am I reading this right? Yeah, I mean, it, visually, right, it looks an awful lot like a rug. You know, I mean, 
you can see that. I mean, the, the way, uh, you know, the chart f crashing out and then the liquidity. Well, you know, that, that's not nice to say because everything is in the pin messages. Anyone that has, uh, does, they can just read the pin Listen, messages. Listen, I'm not, I'm just saying, you know, I'm telling you what it is. I understand, but please don't mention those things in the VC because it's absolutely not true. I, well, I understand that, but I mean, if you could put yourself in an investor's position for a second, I mean, you would want you would want somebody to ask that on your behalf, wouldn't you? Um, I don't understand why you're getting so defensive. Rob, I, Rob, I apologize. You should last, so you should pull your boy in there, man. If you're legitimate, he's making you look very, very bad. Who is looking? Who is making? You, you are, you are, sir. You are an investor sent me here who's got money in your project, and ask me, right? Because that's what we do. What happened? Now I'm banned. Oh, he banned you? Yeah. <laughs> they kicked you out and banned you? Yep, that's it. Now. So what do you think? What do you think? Scam. Total scam. 100% scam. 100% scam. scam. How, how, how do you know? But, I mean, who, why would, if I came to you, right, and you had a legitimate thing going, and I said, hey, my guy's got some money in your project. Can you explain to me why it's not working out this way? I would do anything and everything, right? To, to make sure that you understood that your money's safe. Right. You know, $14 billion last year, that's a lot of money. You know, Is that the amount? That 14 was billion, yeah. $14 billion. $14 billion. To scams to like scams this, to rug pulls and honey pots. Yes. Wow. Well, to be clear, the $14 billion in crypto that scammers stole in 2021 includes a variety of schemes. The biggest Bitcoin bust in U.S. history in connection with a 2016 hack of a virtual currency exchange. Delhi police has busted a cyber fraud module transferring cryptocurrency. In it's estimated that rug pulls account for nearly three billion of that total. And we calculate that we probably save thousands of people millions of dollars, just us. But busting scammers isn't easy. The flow of crypto can be hard to track. It's virtually impossible to detect where they are and how to track them down. There's a lack of specific laws around rug pulls and a decent likelihood that scammers are operating overseas. One common complaint is that police aren't doing enough to track down these scammers. That's a big reason why vigilante groups like Roberts have taken off. We pay for bounties, and so we and, can... And bounties, you're basically paying people to tell you if yes. they see some suspicious activity. It, it could be a dev, it could be an influencer. Mm -hmm. How much do you pay for these tips? Uh, well, in the last 30 days of its existence, we paid about uh, $17,500. Wow, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Where yeah. does that money come from? Uh, we well, we have a token, Seek token, mm -hmm. and that's and it's really uh, there to fund our mission. Yep, even the vigilantes who have been burned by crypto have their own crypto token. We've been dabbed death threats and all the good things, and you've gotten death threats. Oh, absolutely, yeah, constantly. And, they, and they know who you are. Oh, absolutely. And they right. know where you live. Me, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. My my coordinates were in a previous article. My GPS coordinates. So how do you feel about that? I, I mean, I keep my team safe, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I've taken security precautions at my home. You, you know? have? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Such as? Uh, such as private, private stuff, you know. I'm American, we have firearms, you know, so. Does your wife worry about the security aspects of it? You know, it concerns her, but I, at the same time too, I don't, I don't tell my wife every time I, that, that somebody named um, the Buttcorn Bandit threatens to kill me. Is that the, the na a name? That was one of those, that was one of my first death threats ever was the butt corn bandit. Yeah. If you want me to be afraid, I'm okay with that, but you've got to be something a little stronger than the butt corn bandit. So what would you say to the rug pullers and the scammers out there who claim that what they're doing is not illegal, and to some extent they say that it's not even morally wrong? You, you can't get in trouble for rug pulling. You know, you can't take something that doesn't belong to you and call that a bad investment. That's stealing. They put people in jail for that. Some places cut your hands off, but in crypto, they think they get a free pass. The FBI has seen a number of cryptocurrency scams. We certainly do hear a lot of tales of how cryptocurrency has a lot of gray areas and undefined areas, that this isn't money, so money rules shouldn't apply. When individuals are under the understanding or assumption of a particular promise, and then that's not delivered, that is fraud. Fraud is fraud. Aren't you afraid that you might get caught? Um, how? You're gonna call the crypto police? Nobody's gonna help you. There's not a lot of laws out there right now to sort of regulate what you guys do. Are you afraid that the law will catch up? No, no. What we often find is that new technology is first adopted by predatory individuals and in the last year we've seen an exponential growth of cryptocurrency related fraud.
still got a lot more to go. Fraudsters who are engaged in rug pulls have to have an internal justification for the type of actions that they're taking. It can be that the victim should know better and not be victimized. It should be that, well, this technology works this way, it's their problem, their problem that they weren't aware of that. The same argument would say that, well, because I can get into your house, I can rob you. They are a criminal enterprise trying to remove folks from their hard-earned money. We'll make sure that those actors will be held to justice. Despite the best efforts of vigilantes and the FBI, Mr. X and his crew are still free to launch scams with very little effort or risk. We get about 1,500 tips wow. in a 30-day period. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Start but there is one thing that can stop these scammers the markets themselves. Well, it's been a bit of a bumpy ride recently for cryptocurrency. Major cryptocurrencies have seen some steep losses. It was called the crypto winter. By mid-2022, cryptocurrencies had lost more than $2 trillion from their highs the year before. The crypto sell-off has left investors scrambling. People lost their shirts from this crash. Predictably, investors were spooked, which meant that rug pulls were much harder to pull off. I lost over 450,000 USD. I cannot pay the bank. I will lose my home soon. Seemingly overnight, our access to Mr. X and his team had vanished. And I wasn't sure when or if we'd ever get it back. Mr. X and his crew ghosted us for a while after we met them in Dubai, but now they've resurfaced in Houston, Texas. We're here to meet Mr. X. You know, he sort of disappeared on us for a while, but he finally came through, started talking to him again. It's definitely an interesting time to be with him because crypto has crashed dramatically since the last time we were with him in Dubai. The way they think is minimal. We get hot when the wind is cold. I'm just down for the inner soul. Dream more water, mineral. My first stop with Mr. X, though, has nothing to do with how he's making money and everything to do with how he's spending it. This is him, last seen in a bull mask. Good morning. Now leading me into his favorite jewelry store. Bitcoin on top of the rocket. That's what you were hoping would be happening right now, right? It's curious to me that even though the crypto market has crashed, these guys all still seem to be living large. What is this one? Um, that's a crypto coin we're kind of cultivating into. Okay. That should be out uh, pretty soon as well. Even Mr. X's jeweler has a token he's promoting. You don't want to miss this. Army, available October 14th on .com. What's up? How you doing, man? Johnny Dang is apparently the go-to guy for those who want to turn crypto or cash into gold and diamonds. Got a diamond around that with an engraving, perfect gold. Or if you want to bedazzle a fully functional AK-47. Oh, wow. It's a little heavier than the common AK, right? Can I ask you how much that costs? Yeah, it costs some money. It costs some money. Yeah, money. Right. I don't think Johnny Dan knows how Mr. X makes his money. Never say no to champagne. Or that he might be using his store to launder his profits. But I've been itching since Dubai to see how these guys actually set up a rug pull. Another member of X's scam crew has surfaced. Man, the whole thing is about to be lit. Secondhand smoke. 
S. the Schiller is in town. So when you do your stuff, when you do your shilling, yeah. you use Twitter. What else do you use? Telegram, Twitter, social media. With my phone? phone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. It's like a crypto or new tokens dropping. New tokens. Okay, let's try that. There's all kinds. How many of these things are there? Lists. It goes for days. Crypto moonshots. Crypto moonshots. A lot of hype around this launch. Bullish. <laughs> Oh. Kermit Eno is the next generation. Kermit Eno is an upcoming influencer back the world by storm. Take your pick. You're going to see hundreds of thousands of posts. There's a bunch of drugs every day. You know that, right? Yeah, there's a bunch of drugs every day. Not even these scammers know which of these tokens are real and which are fake. And that's exactly the point. We're just trying to get investors to see the token. You know, the more I see it, the more chance they can invest in it. And people, people actually believe, believe these things? They're degenerates. They're dealing with a bunch of gamblers. So make it seem like it's exactly. much bigger than it is. Yeah. All right. Then we actually use influencers of people we're connected with mm -hmm. that we trust. People that work for you, that if you want yeah. them to promote stuff. Correct. Kim Kardashian, she has agreed to pay nearly $1.3 million for promoting cryptocurrency on social media without providing necessary disclosures. In addition to paying the fine, Kardashian also agreed to cooperate with the SEC's ongoing investigation. The list of celebrities facing criticism for pushing crypto is growing. In most cases, no legal lines were crossed. But these influencers are often getting paid big money to hawk crypto projects they know very little about which is why their fans and followers who have gotten burned are so upset. To the moon. To the moon. I think Musk is manipulating the market, and I think you're doing exactly the same thing. The answer is safe mode. It could be a scam. I don't think it is. Invest with your own money. All the influencers have promoted multiple rugs. There's not one that has it. So why do people still trust them? It's a gamble. It's mainly people are just trying to get rich quick, so they're going to throw some money in just to maybe hit, you know? That's FOMO, because you're being scared for you to miss out. So when's your next Red Bull? We don't, we don't announce it like that. So it could happen tomorrow? You never know. If it could, it could not. It's not hard, that's all I got to say. It's like, you know, the time you think that it takes, it doesn't take that much time. Hmm. Oh, so you can do it in a day. Yeah, boom, it's ready to go, right? Hmm. In 15 minutes, you can get this all done, and you could launch it right from here, right now. Correct. Right now. Yeah. I've been waiting for this moment since we first met in Dubai. Finally, Mr. X has agreed to demonstrate how easy these rug pulls are to set up. Give me up an Ethereum real quick. Simple Ethereum token. Uh, but I'm gonna get the Wi-Fi password too, okay? He takes me to a tattoo shop with good Wi-Fi. Uh, this shit. Sit right here. It's good. Okay, so how is it done? What do we, what do you... So basically, I find a basic DeFi project that's doing well, mm -hmm. that has a lot of momentum. He just finds a crypto project that's doing well, snatches the computer code that makes it special, and renames it. I just copy the contract code, post it onto a notepad in here, rename it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Mm -hmm. as simple as that. It's a simple copy and paste job like stealing the text of someone else's novel and then telling everyone to come and buy your new book. So you can be at a coffee shop, at a tattoo parlor, wherever it is. In 15 minutes, you can get this all done and you could launch it right from here, right now. Correct. Right now. Yeah. So why are you not doing it? Uh, as far as me not doing it, it's just, um, me being comfortable about what I'm doing, what I'm doing. I could do it right now, but that's as, that's as far as I could say. Would it be smart for you to launch a, a token right now if the market's down like they are? I mean, you would make close to nothing. But if I like wanted, that. if I was a, a newbie starting at this, I could just go on yeah, yeah, and find this just, and do it myself. Exactly. You can just pull this stuff on Google. So that's not illegal. That's still no, right. Uh, this stuff where you're launching a porn that has, like, it's black grays to it i could just say it's 100 percent illegal but it's not right right you know what i mean 
But now it's the first time that you're saying that it's not. It's the first time you're saying it's not right because it's, it's not right. But I mean, I don't care because I'm doing it right. Did you change your mind? It's no, I said it's not right. But do I care? Uh huh. So no, I didn't. Okay, but now you're. It's not right. Yeah, of course it's not right. But I mean, didn't go that far last time. You know. I mean, what do you want me to say? No, <laughs> I think you changed your mind. And no, I didn't change my mind. Obviously, I want to slow down it. Mm -hmm. Why are you here talking to me? Mm -hmm. When trying to understand scammers of any kind, you never quite know which way is up. On our last day in Houston, I hoped to meet up with Mr. Rex one last time but he bails on me. Well, I mean, it's been really just difficult to work with, with these guys, particularly X. He's been promising all this access and telling us he's gonna show us this and that, and then last minute either doesn't show up or nothing of what he promises actually happen. The night before, off camera, Mr. X admitted to our producer that despite earlier denials, they've continued scamming. But of course, he didn't give us any details. They've come clean to us and have said that they have been rug pulling this whole time. Yeah, they've just been basically lying to us. These days, you just can't take professional scammers at their word. Do your friends and family know you're in this business? For sure. Do your parents know you do this? No. no what do they no. think you do? Full-time student. Are, are you? I am. Does your family know what you do? No. Do you think they are proud of you? 50. <laughs> Seems like we're getting interviewed by the FBI or something. <laughs> no. You have to be careful what we say. I would say for those interested in cryptocurrency scams, there are very few individuals who have run a fraudulent empire and are living comfortably on the beach in retirement with a large bulk of funds. Hi, Pete. Where are you right now? I'm in Ibiza. Oh, you're in Ibiza. Um, corner to corner of the island. I'll be just partying on every club there. You know, the market's been crashing. It's really, crypto is really low right now. Has that affected you at all? Yes, a lot. Millions. Millions of dollars, really? So, but you still have enough yes, to be yes. partying in Ibiza? Yes, yeah. I've made around $60 million just from crypto. I like to think I'm a good guy. I've already sponsored schools who sent over $3 million to the Ukraine cause or where there was a couple of hurricanes in Honduras and Guatemala and Salvador. We funneled a lot of money. We can't confirm any of this, but clearly, this is how he justifies his decisions. It was over before it even began has often been said that the FBI always gets their man, whether it's today or tomorrow. I'm not scared of the FBI. There's no way they can stop it. Those looking to victimize U.S. citizens should always keep an eye looking over their back. I think one thing is very clear is that they will keep doing this. Are there people still buying tokens and still investing in Yes, yes, yes. People keep following in. They will keep stealing your money. They'll keep scamming. People are buying in. Buy, 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 buy. They'll keep spending their money at Johnny Dang's and buying gold and diamonds. Yes, sir. That is guaranteed. You're making a $16 million play in a month and a half, and you ain't risking your life because you ain't doing nothing illegal. That's a win-win. You need to do your research heavily before you get into anything. Don't invest what you can't lose. So keep your